Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. I went shopping yesterday and there are t-shirt dresses everywhere. And I was like, we are going to make a t-shirt dress tomorrow on Sew Anastasia. So I designed a pattern and we are gonna get into it and make a t-shirt dress because they are cozy and fashionable and so easy to make. You can get the pattern at SewAnastasia.com under the digital pattern. So make sure you check it out. And it comes in sizes extra small through 6X. So a size for everyone. You can make this dress out of so many different fabrics as long as they have a little bit of stretch to them. This is a pattern where you can really have fun with the fabrics. You could do polka dots, you could do florals, you could do cheetah, you could do so many different things. You could do a solid color. You could keep it really basic and plain. So today, I'm gonna keep a classic and I'm gonna be using a cream knit fabric, but you could use anything. The pattern is super simple. It's only four pieces. You're gonna have your sleeve, cut two. You're gonna have your neckband, cut one on fold. And then we have the front dress, which is cut one on fold. And then we have the back dress, which is cut one on fold as well. So I printed my paper pattern. I cut it all out of the paper and now it's time to cut it out of the fabric. Okay, let's cut this out real quick. So we're all cut out. We have our back dress, our front dress, our sleeve, and our neckband. It is time to start sewing. So the first thing we're gonna do is sew the shoulders together. I'm going to be using a serger, so if you don't have a serger, you can use your overcast stitch, or you can use a zigzag stitch. And you might even wanna check out my video on how to use your regular sewing machine like a serger. What? Yes, you totally can. So we're gonna place our dress right sides together. We're going to line up these shoulders and we're gonna serge them together. The seam allowance on this is 3 8 of an inch. So we're just gonna serge this shoulder up. And now on to the next one. There we go, all done with the shoulders. Our shoulders are looking beautiful. The outside looks so nice, and the inside is so nice and professional with that serge right on the edge there. Next, we're gonna set the top of the sleeve into the armhole here. So we're gonna place our fabric right sides together. We're gonna start at the underarm seam, and we are going to work our way around as we're serging. Now, when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you don't pull the armhole too much, otherwise it's gonna scrunch up your shirt and you're gonna have all these little puckers in it. So just try and keep everything with a nice, even pull, and then you're just gonna work your way all the way around until you get to this other underarm seam. And then you're magically gonna have a beautiful sleeve. And you're gonna do this on both sides of your dress. Right after we set in these sleeves, we are almost done. I cannot wait to try on this t-shirt dress and show it to you guys. If you're loving this video right now, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to further support Sew Anastasia, make sure you check out the merch. It's right below this video. You can get t-shirts and hoodies and mugs and all kinds of fun stuff. And I would so love your support and it would be so fun if you were wearing Sew Anastasia when you walked into the fabric store, right? What? Cool. Okay, now back to making this t-shirt dress. Setting in these sleeves can be a little tricky. Just remember not to pull your fabric too much and keep your edges lined up. And just like that, we've put in the sleeve. Now let's do the other one. And we're done with both sleeves. So our sleeves are set in and those look really great. No puckers or pulling here. Everything's laying nice and flat. And now what we need to do is sew up the side seam in the underarm. So this is so easy. We are gonna do this in one swoop. So we are going to line up that underarm seam and we are gonna sew from the bottom of the sleeve all the way down the side seam with both of our layers right sides together. And we're gonna do that for both sides. 
I'm starting at the underarm of the sleeve and I'm gonna work my way all the way down the side seam. How easy was that? Now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. And we're done with the side seams. Now we're gonna sew the neck band. We're gonna place right sides together and we are gonna sew up this little short seam here. There we go, the little neck band is sewn up on that little short side. So now that we have that little seam sewn up, we are gonna fold the fabric wrong sides together so that way there's a finished edge on both sides of that seam when we're wearing it. So what we wanna do is fold that neck band in half all the way around. So it should look something like that. A little tip for people that are new working with knits, since we're gonna be placing these two layers around the neckline of the shirt, what you can do first is go ahead and zigzag these two layers together. It's kind of like you're putting a basting stitch in it, but we still need it to stretch, so you're gonna use the zigzag stitch to do that. When we sew the neck band in, we want to line up that seam with a seam on the shoulder, and then what you're gonna do is hold all your layers together, and then we are going to surge around in the circle. So right now I have my shirt wrong side face out, and so I have the right side of my fabric inside here, and we're gonna make sure that we put the band on the inside while we're sewing it, so that way when we flip it out, the seam is going to be on the inside of the garment. So just make sure you keep all your layers nice and lined up and work your way slowly around the neckline. There we go, we are done with that neckband. Now that we are all done sewing all the big pieces together, we need to hem the edges. And classically, the t-shirt is finished with a cover stitch. So we're gonna be cover stitching the hem at the sleeves and the bottom of the dress. But if you don't have a cover stitch, what are you gonna do? Well, you can totally use a twin needle on your sewing machine, or you could do a single folded hem with a zigzag stitch on your regular sewing machine as well. So what we're gonna do is fold up our edge about 3 eighths of an inch, and then we're gonna run it through the cover stitch machine. Okay, let's hem our dress. There is no back stitch on the cover stitch, so the way you wanna end is lift up your foot, Make sure your needles are up. Lift up your foot with your hand carefully. Take your tweezers, pull your two threads towards you. Go ahead and cut them. And then pull your garment to the back. And then what it's gonna do is pull your top threads to the back. Look at that. So they're all on the back. And now what we can do is cut. There we go. Now let's do the same thing to the sleeves. We did it, it looks awesome, and it was so easy to make, right? So let's take a look at our seams and try it on. The cover stitched hem is looking beautiful. We got our two lines of stitches on the outside, and then we've got that cover stitch in the back. We also have our beautiful serged hem, so this dress looks so professional. We have our beautiful rib knit neck on here, which looks great as well. Then we have our inset sleeves that we did on the serger. And then we also have our beautiful cover stitch that we did on the sleeves too. And you'll notice that the cover stitch, it still stretches, so you're not gonna have any stitches that pop. Another great reason to use this for hemming all of your knits. 
and it looks great on too. How fun is this? It looks like a t-shirt, but it's dress length. This is such a fun style to wear. I know you're gonna enjoy making these in every color and fabric ever, and they are so comfortable and cozy to wear because it's knitwear and it's stretchy, so it just kind of hangs and curves to you where it needs to. This style is so versatile. You could make it out of a stretchy lace. You could make it out of a sheer fabric for the beach. You could just do a plain t-shirt fabric and wear it every day. You could put a belt with it. You could put a blazer with it. There are so many different options for making a t-shirt dress and how you can dress it up or down. And I would love to know what you're going to do with this pattern. So make sure you leave it down below in the comments. What kind of fabric are you gonna use? How are you gonna style it? I would just love to know. And it's fun to share with everyone else too. And if you make it, definitely send me photos and tag me at Zoe Anastasia so that way I can repost it and share it with everyone else to keep everyone creative and inspired. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I put out sewing and fashion videos every single week. So much fun sewing content. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all the social media websites so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave that comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois, and I teach them virtually. So make sure you check those out at SewAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.